so this is exactly, I mean, this is exactly the reason why I love this podcast because, I mean, we're learning so much about Sarasota and yeah, the some old, cool, the just, some yeah, really, yeah, yeah. Some, just some really cool <laughs> background stuff here. Well, we're, we're talking, you know, uh, what, 97 when you sold to Comcast? Or when was yeah, that? 96, 97. 96, yeah. 97. So, you know, five years from there, we're 2002, 2003. We, uh, we then started the hub in 2009, you said, right? 2010? Yeah. Yeah. So, so I had what a couple it, so software businesses. Some... Yeah. So after I left, um, okay, so I can get, I don't know if this is for children, but I mean, I can get, a, I this... go off the, off the boat here, but like <laughs> I, I started a few different businesses um, after Comcast. So one was, oh, so uh, the first one, which is a great story and it could t- it, that, that in itself should be its own podcast. I mean, you I invented to... the internet, sorry to interrupt you, yeah. but you invented the internet here in Sarasota. So basically if you feel comfortable with it being on the internet, then we're good. Oh yeah. It's it. probably so. already on the internet. Already. <laughs> Let's do it. So Let's I, not, I, I might oversold it, but uh, there's two things I started <laughs> we can get into. The first thing is actually a more interesting story. So uh, long story short, I was like, at the time I'm, I'm sitting there at Comcast and I'm like, okay, what am I going to do next? Cause I, I just wanted to leave, but I didn't really have an idea what I want. And uh, this article came up, um, and uh, this company called Bets.net. And, uh, and this ki- there was this kid on the cover. He's making he's like making a million bucks a day. And he did this offshore gaming site down in Costa Rica. And I was like, I could do that. You know, I, I want to do that. That's fun. That sounds fun. Like, I mean, I like traveling. I don't know anything about this world. But so um, so I started building up the software. I started just kind of creating like just a, like an idea of what it would look like. But then lo and behold, I did some research. I'd get a license to do this, right? But you have to go to the country of origin, right? So you have to go to Costa Rica and do it. Right. So I called up my girlfriend, which is my wife at the time. I was like, hey, <coughs> we're going we're gonna to go to Costa Rica. And she's like, oh, well, that sounds great. You know, the, oh, man, what, what are you thinking? Like uh, next month sometime? The week? No, I was like like two hours. Like we're gonna, we're, I got a flight. We're going. So she's like, all right, whatever. So we fly down there. And it's like out of Indiana Jones. We took this, like, <laughs> we, we get down to Puerto Rico. Then we took this flight to Costa Rica because there was no directs. And it was, like, this weird flight. There was, like, guys with handcuffs and bags and, like, what? It's just weird. One of these weird, like, okay. that's how it started. And I'm, like, okay. So, obviously, there's some, you know, hiding of money down there. But, anyway, long story short, I set up this, this meeting with a lawyer. And I also set up the meeting with a guy on the cover on Bets.net. And, uh, and, um, and I'm, like, how the hell did you get a hold of that guy? It was easy. I mean, this was, I mean, this was before, like, this is when the internet was actually useful and good, and there was so and and it sounds weird to say this, but there's so few people that were actually good users good of the internet. Use, good at yeah. using it. So like when you got an email, it was like a you know people would respond to it because it was almost like it was like it was still like fun. Ding oh yeah. So. yeah, it was like I don't know what the equivalent would be today, but it's it yeah. probably like the early days of the telephone yeah. where like you got a call, the, t- the oh, phone's yeah, ringing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to call? Like oh my god, who is it? Like you would care now? It's like don't even pick it up, right? Yeah, just let it get a voice. So no, he he replied. Text me. He responded. I was like, hey man, I'm thinking about getting the business. You know, can I can I come meet? Can I come talk to you? Meet you? He said, yeah, sure. Come on down, man. So he gave me his address, and then I looked up a lawyer on the internet that might handle it. So I anyway, went down there, had a meet with the lawyer. Um, my first meeting was with Laura. He showed up all white, all white suit, like out of Indiana Jones, <laughs> like with like a monocle, right? <laughs> and lo and behold, I didn't realize this, but down there, the government is basically very, it, it owns the telecommunication system and it, does, it owns everything. So he really was a lawyer, but he also kind of was like my broker to trying to find internet. I need to get a connection to the internet. And he's like, oh, it's going to take five, six years to get internet, da, da, da. And he's like, but, you know. You know, if you have, if you happen to have ten thousand dollars, we can get into you by Tuesday. <laughs> like one of those things. And I was like, okay, I'll get, I'll get the money together. And then I met the bets not get net guy. So I'm, this guy's making a million. He's, t- uh, he wasn't making a million, but he was taking a million dollars in bets. Right. So you know, I mean, I guess you look at a, the vig on a bookie, right? So he's probably making seven percent. Right. So he's, at the time, he might have been making less because it was the internet, whatever. And but anyway, we're, but you're right, somewhere around that range. So he's making good money. So I'm expecting to walk into this like. You know, like you can imagine a server room with lights and blinking, and so I walk into this office, and there's like chickens just <laughs> everywhere. I don't know why there were chickens. There were so many. And I'm stepping over chickens. I'm like, this can't be the right place. And there's, and then I walk into this other room, no doors, no locks, and I'm like, hey, is is, uh, is Joseph here? And, and like, oh yeah, he's in the back. I'm like, all right. I'm like, hey, Joseph's rich. He's like, oh man, hey, what's going on? <laughs> so he, as he's coming to meet me, he's like stepping over cables. Like there's cables just going through his office to the back. He's like shaking my hands, come on, man. And I'm like stepping on cables. And then and he's like, let me show you the server. And then so these cables led to the server. 
So basically, at any point in time, he could have tripped over. <laughs> do the math, like a million bucks in bets. You know, uh, like how much of the money money that is a minute? I mean, like literally, just could step on a cable and like put a chicken could have yeah. taken the system. Down. Exactly, <laughs> a chicken could literally <laughs> call a couple of packs and bam. And all it was was just like shitty computer computer in the middle of the room. And I was like, "Are you serious? Like I came all the way down here, and this is all it takes?" Or so the, just, the other point of view could be like, "Well." If this is his operation, yeah, exactly. What could I exactly, achieve? Yeah. Right. So, uh, so I, th- then I was hell built on uh, hell hell bent on doing it. I uh, was going to go um, big, so I wanted some funding. People in the United States of America don't necessarily uh, look fondly upon the gambling industry at this time, Man, yeah. And uh, you know, especially online gaming. Uh, <coughs> even if you were in the gaming industry, so I went to Canada, tried to raise some money. 